Scott Morrison has finally had enough. That one nation will be put below the Labor Party um, at the next election by the Liberal Party. You're a fool. The last straw, Pauline Hanson suggesting the Port Arthur massacre was a government conspiracy. Well, I'm sure all Australians would be shocked. After that and other revelations from One Nation's bungled fundraising mission to the NRA, he consulted John Howard, who put One Nation last in 1998 and almost lost the election. Two weeks of indecision from Scott Morrison. I haven't rushed into this decision. You, Prime Minister, have just handed the keys to the lodge to Bill Shorten, Di Natale and the CFMEU. And his coalition partners? What the Nationals do is a matter for them. That's How do you decide who is the craziest? There is such a wide range of choices. I've always said that the Greens would probably be last. Pauline Hanson came out swinging and not just at Scott Morrison, also the media, claiming her One Nation is the victim of a grand conspiracy. Today is a day of shame on the Australian media. The footage has been heavily edited and you took it hook, line and sinker. On the other issues, starting with Port Arthur... There is no question in my mind that Martin Bryant was the only person responsible... And... One nation will never water down gun policy in this country. And... One nation will never sell its vote to donors. And James Ashby and Steve Dixon will stay. These are two very good men. So many questions, but telling the assembled media... You have come here baying for my blood and I will not give it to you. Answerable, she says, only to the people. And I ask Mark Riley what impact the PM's decision will have on the upcoming federal election. One Nation preferences could swing several national seats in Queensland, seats like Hinkler, Herbert, Dawson, which is why the LNP aren't committing to this decision just yet. And One Nation polled between 7 and 8 per cent in some metropolitan electorates in the New South Wales election last weekend, so that potentially puts several marginal coalition seats at risk around Sydney at the coming election. So it is a decision that comes at some risk for Scott Morrison and comes a little bit late, but it is the right decision.